Bravo. Last crucial move that late Queen made to save royal family from cruel Sussex revealed. Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex, stepped down as a working royal to pursue a new independent life in California with his wife Meghan in 2020, but he remains one of five councillors who can be called on to stand in for the monarch. Under the 1937 and 1953 letters patent, a select group of senior Windsors can undertake most official duties bestowed on his father, King Charles. Royal commentator Daniela Elsa stated that, sure, the chances of Harry ever being asked to step in for his dad are about as slim as an Olsen twin on a juice cleanse, but it's the symbolism of the thing. Prince Harry's disgraced uncle, Prince Andrew, is also a councillor and could also, in theory, deputise for King Charles, despite his fall from grace following his relationship with convicted sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein and Galilee Maxwell. Realising how problematic it would be if either Duke stood in for the Sovereign, the Queen put the wheels in motion to expand the number of councillors to reduce the likelihood of either Andrew or Harry stepping in. According to both the Times and the Daily Mail, paperwork is set to land in British Parliament in a matter of weeks which will amend the letters patent and expand the possible candidates, likely adding Princess Anne and Prince Edward to the number, thus ensuring Andrew and Harry will never be tapped as councillors. In addition, royal biographer Robert Hardman added, these proposals were already being considered some months ago, with the approval of the late Queen. With book promotion typically comes a slew of media appearances, a book tour and other commitments to sell copies of the work, and Prince Harry reportedly will return to Britain to promote his bombshell memoir Spare, as senior members of the royal family are said to be bracing themselves for the book's publication. Reports say Harry could be in his home country early in 2023 to explain his intent in writing the book, which could see retaliation from the palace, including stripping him and Meghan of their Duke and Duchess of Sussex titles. The visit in the new year will cast a shadow over the royal family's Christmas celebrations at Sandringham, the first since Queen Elizabeth died in September. A source reported yesterday that Harry and wife Meghan Markle have no plans to be in attendance at the festivities, just two weeks before Spare is set to hit shelves. Put it this way, it's not going to make for a relaxing family Christmas. Reports are also emerging that Harry had to submit a copy for his book, more than once before it was accepted by publishers, sparking fears that it was sexed up with revelations about the royal family. The book has been back and forth between Harry and ghostwriter J.R. Moringer and the publishers a few times now. They wanted more than what was in the first draft and then Harry wanted to refine things after the Queen passed away. But there's been extra toing and froing that people don't know about. This is because the publishers wanted more areas covered and more detail on some things that were already included. There's a real concern that means Harry had to sex up the book and include revelations that even he might not be that comfortable with. Another source added, The book is much worse than people think. Prince Harry's memoir book, set to be published soon, has been branded a time bomb for the royal family, as it contains a lot of damaging material, according to author Tom Bauer. The former BBC journalist criticised Harry and his wife Meghan Markle for making a pact with the devil with the book and their deal with streaming giant Netflix. He also claimed Harry fears Meghan leaving him, noting Harry's always terrified that Meghan will leave him. 